Hello, this is Jim Coryeth in the woods of northern Minnesota, USA. This is my assignment for week four. What we're going to do this time is we're going to demonstrate the use of a noise gate plugin. Now, for starters, what I have is I have three sources of recording, uh, three microphones I use to record my cello. And I've got them all output to an auxiliary track called Cello Gate. And we're going to use the Cello Gate track to demonstrate the use of the Noise Track plugin or the Noise Gate plugin. And so at the outset, what we have here is a recording where I had the levels really set too low. Actually, I was sitting too far from the microphones, and there's uh, there's some noise at the first of this that you're going to hear. Take a listen. And so that noise at the first is what we want to get rid of. To do that, we're going to use an insert here on the cello gate track. And we're going to go over to Dynamics, and we're going to use a plugin called Channel Strip that comes with Pro Tools. And here at the outset, the ratio is set to a 1 to 1, which basically means it's not attenuating the level at all. And to change that ratio, we can just move it all the way to the right, and you can see you've got control over how much attenuation you want. And as you move it, it shows up on the graph. But we're going to go ahead and use the gate, which means it's going to shut out everything below our threshold level. And right now we've got our threshold set at about 58 dBFS. And chose that level because if we look back here, we can measure about what level that noise is at. So we can set our threshold above that to get rid of that noise. somewhere around 60 and so I've set it at 58 and so it works well to get rid of that noise we've also got some uh, control over here over how quickly the effect takes effect uh, in this context attack refers to how quickly the, the level is going to come up once the source gets above the threshold right here it's set at the minimum for this plugin which is 20 dBFS we can change that, and I'll exaggerate it to give a good look at what kind of difference this can make. As we watch this, it's going to show us how long it takes for that level to kick in. Now, I like where it's set at the minimum, and so I'm going to keep it there because there aren't really any transients at the first of that note that I need to get rid of. Now the release is kind of another matter. That tells us how long it's going to take for the level to go back down once it gets below the threshold. And on this one, if it's set very low, it's going to cut off the resonance of the cello that you can hear at the end of this clip. And if we cut that down too much, if we cut our release time down too much, it's going to cut it off abruptly. Take a listen. So I'd rather keep that resonance in there at the end and let that note ring. So I'm going to set this for two whole seconds. Let's see what kind of difference this makes. And with the re release set longer, it lets us hear that resonance. That concludes my tutorial for assignment four. Thank you for uh, taking a look at this, and if you see anything that needs correcting or if you have any improvements to suggest, I'd love to hear them, so please let me know. Thank you very much.